Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'm going to be going over some of the basics of the cadence theme. So let's dive in. So I just wanted to mention that there is actually a free version and then a pro version of the cadence theme. And if you wanted to get the premium membership or the premium version of this theme, you can go through WPWithTom.com slash cadence. And I'm actually just going to be going over the basics of some general features within this video for the theme. And I'm going to be using the free version, but if you do want to get that pro version with my link, I greatly appreciate it. So I'm going to go right up here and just exit out of this and we'll be brought to the WordPress dashboard here. And within here, we can go and add the theme itself. So we can go to add new for themes, appearance themes, add new. And we'll just go up here and type in cadence. And from here, I'm going to go over and click install on the cadence theme. And then I'll go and activate it right here. So it gives us this message and it says, thanks for choosing the cadence theme. And if you want to install starter templates, you can go right here and click this. I'm going to do this for this example just to show you. And here we're brought to the starter templates area under appearance starter templates. And we just have these six templates for right now. But I do know that they're going to be adding more of them in the future to this. So I'm going to go and just click on this SAS one right here. And here you can choose your color scheme. So if you want to use different color schemes, you have this option over here. I'm going to go and click on this one just because I like the look of these colors in this combination. And then I'm going to go and click import. So it's just going to ask if I want this selected color palette. I'm going to go and click start importing. And we're going to go and have this brand new site on here once this is done. So it's going to just take a moment, just a few seconds, and it will be finished. And now we can see that it's finished. And if we go and we click finished view your site, you can see what it looks like right here on our site with this color palette in place. So you have this beautiful looking site right out of the box. I actually would love to use something like this and just make a nice one page website where I can click on features and then it would go right down to this features. Pricing would take you right down to this pricing, but that's just me. I really like one page websites and if you don't want something like that, it's totally fine. I'm just going to go into the back end right here, go into the dashboard. I'll open it in a new tab and then I'll go to where it says appearance and customize. And here we can start using the customizer to get some features changed that we want on the site. And I'm just going to go through some of the basics here. So if we went over to general right here, you can go and change your layout if you want and change things within here. You can go to the sidebar and change the sidebar widget and the sidebar width right in that section, but I'm going to go down to colors and show you that you can change your color palette. So let's just say you like this green right here, but you want it to be a little bit different. You want more of a contrast. So if we went to the second color here, you can go and change that and give it a totally different look to the site and adjust it as needed to fit whatever look you're going for. So let's go with something like maybe a blue or something like that. I think that looks pretty cool. And I'm going to go and then click off of this. You can go and click publish up here to make it go into effect. And here you can go and actually change different areas. And these are the global palette settings. So it's going to be across your whole site. These changes will be in effect. So you can see a blue button, green button, and a blue button again. I guess this is more of like a turquoise green. And then down here, we still have the green, but we have the blue check marks when we change that in the palette itself. So if you like the look of it, you can go and publish it, but I just wanted to at least show you where you can change your color palette for your global palette for the website. So if we go back here, you can also go over to where under general and we'll go to where it says buttons right here and we'll click on that. And here you can change the actual button color. So it says the, when you hover over it, it says initial color and then it says hover color. So if you wanted to go and change that, you could and change these settings right in here. You can also add border colors if you want, and you can choose how it looks on different devices. Now that's something that's going to be all throughout this theme here. You can also change text color as well. So we have white right now by default, but I'm going to go back here and I'll show you where you can change typography. So if we're right here on this typography section, we can go and change this. So let's just go in here and I'm going to go and I'll type in Leto right here, which is a common font. And you can see it just changes the font across the whole thing. And if we go back here, we can go and change the size. So I'm going to just do this and make it 900 italic so you can see it. So watch this font right here change. And now it's 900 italic. Now it's 900. Now it's 700. 
now it's regular so you can go and change this across your whole site very easily right here for the base fonts and i really like how that's set up you also can go if we go in here and change the size as well so we can change the font size right now it's 17 and it's hard to see the difference in here but you can adjust it and get it to fit whatever you want for your website here so i'm going to go back here again and within general i'm going to go down to where it says scroll to top so if you don't know what a scroll to top button is it's going to be this when we go down to the bottom of the site if i click enable scroll to top you're going to see that we have this little button down here in the corner so you can see it pretty well right here and that's something i wanted to point out so you can't see it that well over certain areas it depends what color your button is and what colors you have going on on your site so right here it looks pretty good when you have it on these but if you're all the way down here in the footer area it's going to be difficult to see that with this dark color when you need to scroll to the top now you're probably not going to need to scroll to the top when you're already in the middle of the website somewhere like this you don't really need to hit the scroll to top button but you could if you wanted to when it's really going to come into play is when you're down here and it needs to come and show up on a dark background like this so if you wanted to you can go and change that you can change the icon right here so i'm going to scroll down so we can see it pretty well and if we need it we can go and change the icon color you can go and change the icon size as well so let's just go and make this two right here and you can see it's quite a bit bigger you can go to where it says design and you can change the colors within here so if i wanted to i can make this a different color maybe i'll make it like an off white but then i'll make the border itself a darker color this is just an option i'm just going and kind of winging it here so if we get this it might show up pretty good but again it's going to be difficult to see right there so it really depends on the site colors you can go and make it similar to the site if you want it and add in this so it's pretty easy to see on both of these and if you want it to you can actually take away the border so you can go and click x right here and x again and that takes away the border so we just have this icon and you can click on it and scroll right back up to the top great feature built in and i really like that one so if we go back here again you have other options within general such as performance social links breadcrumbs and comments i'm actually going to go back here and i'm going to go into the header changes and how to do that so right now we have our header right here with our main menu to the right and our logo to the left so if we wanted to edit that it's actually really easy to do so right now you can see once you click on header it gives us this option here at the bottom so here we have different layouts so right here it says main row and this says bottom row and this says top row so in this main row if we wanted to we can add in another section so let's go and add a button i'm going to go and click on this button hold it and drag it i'm going to just drop it right in here and now we can see that there's a button right here with our global colors on the site and let's say we wanted to change this overall look here and move the navigation to the center so i can go and drag it over here now you can see the menu here is to the left of the button but the button's still pretty far toward the center so maybe you wanted to have the button over here for example and then have the button off to itself or you want it in this order where you have the button just to the right of the menu and that would look pretty normal i feel like and that's an option or if you want no button at all you can go and click out of there get rid of the button and maybe just put the menu in the center and there's different options within here if you want to you can actually click in here and make some changes so if you go to design you can go and change different things within the menu if we go back again i'm going to go and put in that button again so i'm going to go drop this button in and i'm going to move it over to the right side and now if we want to go and change this button we can go into settings right here and you can go into design and change the design of the button as well so you can make it larger you can make it custom size you can make it small you can adjust it as needed for your website and you can also go down here and change the colors for this so i'm going to go and click publish and i'm going to go back and back again it's just very easy to rearrange the heading and the same goes for the footer here so if we went down to the bottom of our website right here we can see that here is our footer set up right now it says footer navigation which is right here and then it says the copyright which is right there so let's just say we wanted to add our social network in here we can go and i'm going to go and put it in this one in the center and i'll go right here and i'll drag this up and i'll drag this up as well so now we have three different settings right here 
for this middle row and the bottom here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go and click on social icons and then here I'm going to center it and I like it on this white more because it stands out. I would probably get rid of maybe this section above here or I'd have to redo the whole section down here with a different background color. Either way, you can set it up how you want, but I wanted to show you how easy it is to set this up. It's very similar to the header. Again, I would just say publish to make it go into effect. The header and footer features are something that a lot of other themes just don't build into their theme or they don't build in well. So I think they've done a really good job at making this nice and simple. You also can add different widgets in here if you want as well. So if we go back here again, and right here we have blog posts. So it says single page layout and you can change that as needed or an archive layout and you can change this as needed. If we actually go, I'm gonna exit out of here and I'm gonna go back to where it says post. I just wanted to quickly show you this. So if I click on sample post four, which is one that was in the starter template here, I'm gonna go and exit this and right up here we have this icon, it says post settings. So right in here you can change various post settings to fit what you want on your website. So you can have a default, you can have normal, narrow, which is gonna give you more padding on the sides of the content. You can have full width all the way to the edges, left sidebar, right sidebar, and you can change these settings to fit your blog style that you want. It just makes it very simple. And I like that you can actually see it in action or see a preview of the post layout right here. It's a very nice feature built right in. And overall, I really just think that's what they do with this theme, with the Cadence theme here, is they have so many nice features built right into it. So if we went back to the customizer, I'm just gonna mention that they also have some other features in here, such as the search results, where you can change the appearance of them as well. And you can show search results in the title or not. It depends what you wanna do with that option here. And there's also the typical site identity for your logo. There's menu options right here. And then we have widgets over here. It says your theme has eight widget areas. So if we go down here, homepage settings, just like any normal theme, we have additional CSS and import and export. So overall, I really think this is one of the premier themes. And honestly, I think it's one of the top themes out there for WordPress in general, and it makes it so easy. We just put together a site that looks like this literally within a few seconds. And you could go through this with something like Elementor and just edit it very easily and change out graphics, change out text to fit your needs. And you're gonna have a great looking site right here in just a matter of minutes. So I really hope that you like this brief cadence theme tutorial or overview here. If you do and you wanna support my channel, you can get it through wpwithtom.com slash cadence. And if not, you wanna use the free version, that's totally fine too. Either way, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and I hope you have a wonderful day.